Hello everybody and welcome back. So it's still at Heathrow. Just boarded the wide body Airbus A330 of Iberia on my way down to Madrid this evening. Had a great time at Heathrow Terminal 3 today. So we've seen the BA Lounge, the Cafe Lounge, the Qantas Lounge and also of course the Amex Lounge. What I'm looking forward to tonight is a nice dinner service here in business class on the two and a half hour flight down to Madrid. It's Hake apparently, according to Iberia's website. A nice fish dish. I've had it before. It's good. Not as good as beef on Iberia, but not bad. So uh, stay with me. Let's see what it's like. Welcome on board the Iberia Airbus A330, a genuine Airbus A330, not the level 330 that I got last time. So this is truly flatbed, true business class, exactly how you would get it if you were on a long haul flight with Iberia. So shortly, they'll turn the lights back up. It's this rather groovy colour of sort of airport at the moment. And in a moment, they'll turn those colours back up to sort of beige or cream, as I, I guess. And then we'll see dinner service to commence. Looking forward to some nice hake and uh, perhaps a nice white wine. And I already had uh, an individual gold welcome from the cabin crew this evening, our One World Emerald welcome this evening, which is nice. First time I've ever had that uh, from Iberia. So we're off to a good start already. As always, I'll show you toilet cam as well, so we can have a look at the toilet on the Airbus A330. As always, I'd like to thank my very generous Patreon supporters, and this month, a warm welcome to new member Danny Egan. Danny joins fellow supporters such as Joshua Bedell, Kieran Davis, James Wake, and Joe Ainley in helping me bring these videos to you month in, month out. Danny, thanks for your support and welcome. So you might be wondering why Iberia flies the Airbus 330 on this route, a relatively short route for a long haul airline or wide body between Heathrow and Madrid. And the truth is that up until fairly recently, British Airways and Iberia used to fly wide bodies once a day or twice a day between the two cities. So British Airways used to fly their 777 and Iberia split it between the 330 and the 350. And I've done videos on both previously, so I'll pop some links up above, but the reality is that there is incredible demand for cargo between the two cities, and the narrow bodies, the 320s, can't handle that. So that's why the two airlines operate wide body airliners at least once a day, sometimes twice, between Heathrow and Madrid. And if you look on the schedules, you'll see the British Airways at the moment don't operate wide bodies between the two cities. I'm not sure why that is, it's perhaps as we emerge from the pandemic, I'm not sure. But you can be sure that Iberia operates at least the Airbus 330 at least once a day, sometimes twice. And on some days it operates the A350, which is where my friend Neil and I tried out the A350 between uh, Heathrow and Madrid last year. So again, I'll pop a link up above. Hello everyone, everybody from the Airbus A330 of Iberia. And uh, yeah, the Wi Fi is looking good. I'm communicating with some people on the ground. Service is just about to start in business class here. I can see them lining up the wine bottles as we speak. Looking forward to dinner now. Bit peckish after all that food. It must be at least uh, an hour since I last ate. 
in one of those glorious lounges back at T3. So you can probably hear the uh, clinking of the glasses now as they're lining up tonight's uh, service of the alcohol. It's all good. All good. So let me show you around. So uh, this is the genuine business class of the Iberia Airbus A330. So uh, just like you would get if you were flying long haul across the Atlantic down to South America with Iberia. The only difference is they don't give you the bedding. That's the only thing. So they don't give you the duvet and the blankets and all that. But, you know, I can show you the entertainment. I can show you the flat bed. I can clearly show you the toilet in a little while. Just as you would get an Iberia long haul. But for tonight's flight, a couple of hours. Uh, so the entertainment system is um, it's much like any other long haul business class type airline you've seen before probably I guess um, it's to control it you've got a choice of two options you can either work it from this controller here which is on a uh, elastic strap uh, but as I've said before really there is a screen here I'm not sure why that's not working but uh, generally speaking I find those remotes more hassle than they're worth and because you're sat fairly close to the screen here I, uh, I just tend to choose it it's all touch screen so you can flick through the movies it's uh, it's, it's quite a fairly it's a fairly quick system um, as you can see so you can flick through the movies here you can choose some games if you really want to do that in terms of movie selection it's not bad, you know, I mean, it's, uh, there's probably something for everybody, I guess. The screen's a little bit sensitive, maybe a little bit lag laggy, but, uh, yeah, you know, there you go, Downton Abbey, for those who are into Downton Abbey. Not really my cup of tea, I have to say, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it is very laggy when I'm trying to scroll across there. You really do have to be quite firm with it. Nevertheless, nevertheless. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, you've got, let's have a look at onboard services. So onboard shopping for those in economy. You can buy drinks and uh, it tells you how to operate the seat as well. You can see some alcohol coming now. So I'm just going to break here and let's choose what we're going to have to drink. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to drink tonight. I've had a bit of whiskey today. Maybe a gin and tonic. Let's see. Uh, so, wow, yeah, uh, dinner's just been served. I thought they we were just going to serve drinks, but they've been so quick this evening. I mean, we are literally 10 minutes out of Heathrow, and they're already, they've already served dinner in front of me. So I'll show you it just now. Uh, so very much a fish-based dinner this evening. We've got tuna to start. We've got hake with a nice potato and pepper sauce to go with it. We've got some bread. I asked for a gin and tonic, and I must admit, about 70% of that glass is gin. <laughs> she kept on pouring, I had to stop. And uh, we've got uh, some uh, Nordica tonic to go with it. Although about 30%, I must admit, if that. And uh, then for dessert, we've got a strawberry pavlova. So, all very nice for just a tour of flight, don't forget. This is a very short flight for a wide body aircraft. And I have to say, as always, you know, Iberia. The food is excellent. So I'm going to enjoy this and then I'll, uh, I'll show you the flatbed, I'll show you the uh, toilet and we'll see where we go from there. So, loving the fish, loving it. Once again, Iberia's food has really excelled itself. And when you consider, as I said before, this is just a too short or fight. It really competes with British Airways, with Easy jet with Ryanair, air, all the low cost air taxi to think of fly to London and Southern Spain. And they've really done they've really outdone themselves, I have to say. I always look for their view it's always excellent. And tonight is no exception. Living it, absolutely living it, albeit that gin and tonic is rather strong at about 70% gin, 30% tonic. It's not the way it normally works with the GMT, but Nevertheless, who am I to complain of? Loving the service, loving the Airbus A330. It doesn't get any better, really, between London and Madrid. It's one of the routes that I fly most often. I do love it. 
especially when it's on the back road. So, as we descend into Madrid, it's top marks for Iberia on today's Airbus A330 business class service. Until next time, and no more meringue for me, thanks for watching, and see you soon.